Hey dudes, what's up? Carter here. Well, I've been having a little bit of fun playing with some uh, acid etching and stone washing. So this is my first attempt at a acid etch stone wash. Did it to the pocket clip, the lock bar, and of course the blade. There we go, there's focus right there. It was a lot of fun. Oh, I also did it to the pivot and the thumb studs. It's pretty interesting. You get to see how all the different steels react. You can see that the blade actually took to the acid much stronger than, say, the pocket clip, which is kind of just like a darker gray color. And then when I stoned the po pocket clip, it pretty much just wiped off all the etching color. Still got some grease all over here. And same with the uh, lock bar. That one got darker but not as dark as the blade blade got really dark um, real easy to do and what's cool about it well what's cool and not cool about it is the the etching surface deposit is actually very weak it's not very strong it rubs off I mean not rubs off but it comes off pretty easy so that's bad because if you don't want to do the stonewash look or kind of the weathered look you know, you'll get, and I'll talk more about this in a sec, you'll get, uh, you know, spots coming through of steel. You know, you'll have a nice dark gray blade, and then on spots that maybe rub, or if you ding it on something, it'll just immediately show through with shiny steel. <clears throat> but the good thing about it is it only takes a second to stone wash. You know, like this only takes literally five minutes. So it's really easy to do manually. You know, I just put it in with some media and just shake it around and you'll get the stonewash look. Now this is just with my acid. Maybe other acids work differently. This is mainly just an experimental knife uh, that I tried it on. And I effed it up a little. You can see right here, see how this is different? That is because I screwed up. Yesterday I started the acid wash. And I started it kind of, hi son, started it kind of late. Uh, so I pulled it out, stopped, and then I actually thought, well, it looks pretty good. Maybe we'll just put it back together. So I put it back together, and it was actually a little lighter than this because uh, just, you know, it didn't have as much time in the solution. And uh, I thought, yeah, I'll just leave it that way. But then today I'm like, no, I need to stone wash it. So, oh, and then I stopped at the store and got some, uh, what do you call it, uh, some paint remover that was suggested to remove the Teflon finish. So I thought... I would try to remove some of the Teflon. Hi, son. I try to remove some of the Teflon finish that was still around the thumb stud, and also on the pocket clip. So I put that on, and then I took a brass or a copper—I'm not sure, brass or copper—brush and scrubbed around here and right here. Basically, what that did is it removed some of yesterday's acid etch. So when I put it back in today, this darkened up, and this didn't quite catch up. So that's why it's got this this light spot right there um, man like this thumb stud I'm not sure if we're able to see come on focus see how the acids actually like ate away and eroded this top part this used to be smooth so yeah some metal uh, just depending on, on the makeup of your knife some metal that acid just tears the shit out of same with this back pivot. Whatever steel this is made out of, I imagine, I don't know, it just turned this black and gave it a really rough texture. Whereas this front pivot, it just kind of gave it a darker kind of blued color. Even though this was in longer than this back pivot. And these thumb studs have been in less than the blade. So yeah, pretty cool. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I was a little more hopeful on the durability of it it uh, like I said you know but I guess if you're stone washing like this it's not that big a deal but um, last night when I put it back on with just the flat gray if you open this knife left-handed it'll rub on the scales because it's a little off center I can't get it centered so it'll rub right here and just after opening it a few times I was getting steel showing through right there so like I said I don't know if that's because of the process or the acid I'm using or or what the deal is but yeah, just having fun. I haven't sharpened it yet. I need to uh, 
you can see it's got the acid finish on the uh, on the blade but yeah I'll uh, finish this up carry it around see if I like doing this finish and maybe I'll do it to a few other knives I have or or maybe not I don't know we'll see how it goes all right guys take it easy okay guys one last look I sharpened it and the uh, the edge contrasting to the uh, stone wash there just makes it look sick yeah man that uh, acid etch stone washed finish the clip sucks though I wish I wouldn't have even put it into the stone washer it looked better before I guess I can always re I didn't throw it in the acid again no big deal didn't do a crazy super edge I, I did a, just a quick job but I mean it's EDC worthy edge cuts paper just fine it'll shave hair a little it doesn't you know blast off a spot but it's pretty good